Hey YouTube, this is KP with KP Details, taking you along for a little quick upgrade on the van. I am going to be putting this 90 degree Fernco fitting in. You can see where it connects to this little jumper hose for the vacuum cleaner. That's too big for it. And also on the end of my Cox reel, it's too big for that also. But the next size down is an inch and a half and that was too small. So I'm going to build it up with this Frost King pipe insulation tape. You can see exactly what it's, it's a rubbery material. It's uh, not that thick and it has adhesive on one side. The Fernco fitting, in addition to the pipe insulation tape, I got that at Lowe's and I'm going to make sure that I put a link in the description for you if you're interested in doing this. The whole reason I decided to go ahead and do this is because the 90 degree corner was, it had too much strain on it and it was actually starting to deform. So I was looking for something that would fit this application and I couldn't find anything from the manufacturers. So I wrapped the end of this jumper hose, cleaned it up because I didn't want any debris stick into the sticky side of it. You can see it's just a little bit fatter than the jumper hose. And then I'm using the stainless steel hose clamps that come with the fitting in order to tighten it down so I'm not getting any air leakage. And there's the information about the Fernco. It's the PQL 200. It's just two inches by two inches on either side. Then I am wrapping the end of the, it's the inlet for the, for the Cox reel. I wrapped it one too many times. I think if, it, if it's just one time around, that'd be good. And that should really be all you need in order to get that, that, that tight fit. The reason why I went also with a fern coat is because I've noticed that I get debris in this corner. And so I needed to be something that was not permanent that I would be able to maintain. I have my backing going, as you can hear. See that? But there is no clear amount of these 